Good morning. Welcome to the Fearless Morning Show where we are having confessions and conversations about your everyday life and finances. She is your nature Jojo Waddell, the only live past crazy specialist. So what better place to be than here with Can you say that you're just so soft? Can you say good morning, guy? Can you start over, please? Pretty please. Thank you. With your beautiful ponytail. Say it again. Come on, hurry up. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Margaret. Miss Margaret can't hear that soft voice. Good morning, Miss Margaret. Goodness gracious. You supposed to do the yes, work? Say good morning. Hey. Can you guys can I hear can you guys hear me? I was about to say, can can I hear you? Can you guys <laughs> can you guys hear me? Yeah. Okay, awesome, awesome. For some reason I heard no uh noise whatsoever um when you came on. Not even road noise. Oh so I was like, wait, wait, what's going on? Okay, cool, cool. Good morning everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, guys. Yep, Miss Rose is up this morning. Miss yeah, Jojo yeah. did her so wrong the other day, but that's okay. Whatever. Right. What? <laughs> when you slept, I talked about you yesterday when you slept through the entire show. Mom, <laughs> you was knocked out. <laughs> that does not mean you get to talk about me. <laughs> I'm just saying. What did you say? I just said you were sleeping good. I, I, I didn't say anything. Oh, thank you, Miss Valley. I told Rosie she was talking soft. That's what y'all couldn't hear. No, that was not it. Rose was the most happy. I told them <laughs> I told them that you checked me yesterday because mm -hmm. I, I asked you how did Miss B help you with your math? Were you more confident? Mm -hmm. And how she said it, y'all, and y'all can't see me. She rolled her head and said, Confidence wasn't the problem. I'm very confident. That's not what I said. I said she said she was confident in her abilities, Jojo. Yes. You missed it. Yeah. Yeah, but it ain't that. It ain't. <laughs> how, that's not how she said it. I said. I said <laughs> see, you see how wrong her neck. I'm confident. She just taught it better than my algebra teacher did. <laughs> that, that's all right. All right, Lynn. Go ahead. We we done fooling around. She's frozen. Oh, Lynn, you frozen? Maybe I, sometimes somebody may have called, and so her phone her phone freezes. Then she looks like she's coming back. Oh, I think. I hope everybody is staying warm out here. Because it's super duper cold. Maybe she'll. Why don't you introduce yourself, Rosie? Rosie's my voice coach, y'all. So if y'all don't know her, and so she does. She helps me with my voice lessons. I think she's coming back in. She, there's nothing. But if you go to it, but, okay. you'll see it. See? No, oh, it's see? not there. Okay. That's yeah, all right. So Rosie helps warm up my voice because. There it is. She's the singer in the family and not me. But you can take it off my till us get where I'm going. Like it, it was good. So like this because my co host may have gotten frozen. She's coming back in. There you go. All right, guys. Sorry about that. That was um you know how it is when those phone calls come through and you look at it, you be like, hold up, wait a minute, why? She calling me, something must be wrong. I had one of those kind of moments, but everything's good, so, whew, yeah. There My you heart go. stopped for a second, but that's okay. That is okay. Um, guys, well, good morning. Let me go ahead and get started with the financial confession and conversation this morning. Um, uh, Jojo, did I cut you off on something you were talking uh -uh. about? Uh-uh. Okay, uh -uh. all right. I just wanted to make sure um anyway guys the thought for today the financial confession and conversation for today is don't focus 
on what you lost. Focus on what's left and work with what you got. I, I, we could just end the show off of that if somebody would just catch it. The, the topic for today, guys, is how to stay in the game. You got to stay in the game because oftentimes it becomes difficult, right, when we run into all of these different pieces, all of these different struggles, all of these different challenges, barriers, whatever you want to call them, right? There are challenges that come in front of you when you're going through a particular situation. And we've mentioned this over and over, and things don't just happen one at a time. A lot of things start coming at you, one not one at a time, but like five, six, seven, eight at a time. And then sometimes you feel like you just want to give up. But the financial confession and conversation for today, guys, is to stay in the game. Why? Guys, I was um, going through, first of all, if you've gotten out of the game, get back in the game. Yes, ma'am. Good morning, Blessful Successful. Um, I don't know. Who is bless, Blessful Successful? Can you tell us your government name so we can also use that? <laughs> but good morning, Blessful Successful. Thank you for joining. And any others that are joining us for the first time uh, here for the Fearless Morning Show, joining us live. Some of you may catch the replay. Uh, but don't forget to share, share, share this video out <laughs> while my co-host is over there struggling. I'm going to keep it moving. <laughs> I'm going to keep it moving. I'm trying. <laughs> we'll get it together in just a moment. The ink right. broke in my mirror, so I'm having to, pro I have to bring books and listen, the show must go on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what you are getting for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Sorry. All right, guys. Carry on. <laughs> All right, Pacencia Lowry. I hope I said that correctly. Maybe I did. You might have to give me some phonetics on that. But thank you so much for joining us as well. Guys, don't focus on what you lost. Focus on what's left and work with what you got. That's the message for this morning because oftentimes we'll get into these challenges, into these struggles, into these different situations, and we feel like there's no way out. And then you can, you'll say, you know what? I'm done with it. I'm completely done with the situation. For example, my husband used to say this all the time about his student loan. That student loan debt is going to always be with me. So there's no reason, right? For me to bust my behind, to fight and struggle, to try to get out of that when it's going to always be there because it's so much. But of course, guys, what has to happen, what we had to do, what we had to overcome was our own thinking about the situation and how do we now disrupt, right? How do we now disrupt this cycle that's currently going on? Because you know what? Progress is impossible without doing something different. So if we were trying to keep doing the same thing that we've always done, of course, we're going to stay in that cycle and say, well, the student loan debt is going to always be with us. But it wasn't until we changed the game for us, right, that we were able to overcome in that situation. So what did we have to do, guys? We had to get our heads in the game. Get your head in the game. And, and for those of you who know me, you know, <laughs> I do not like to run at all i have to get my head in the game if i go out there and try to do any type of running i have given myself every excuse in the book as to why i should not be out there running i need a certain type of top i need a certain type of bottom i need a certain type of shoe i don't have all of those so there is no reason for me to get out there and run see that's what i told myself this is the information that I have now put in my head because I have to be, I, it has to be perfect before I get out there. I got to have all the right gear, the right shoes, right? And then on top of it, I've told myself, if I'm going to get out there and run, I got to be able to do like the athletes. You remember back in high school, we had to do the six minute mile, right? <laughs> you had to do that six minute mile to show that you were in, in XYZ performance level. I don't remember exactly what it was. I just remember coach telling us to get out there and run in PE and trying to get out there and do that six minute mile with the other athletes. And I told, I put myself in a place that I said, you know what? Because I cannot do that six minute mile today, the 
there's no need for me to get out there and run. See, guys, my head is not in the game of running. How many of you can relate? Is there a situation or a circumstance that you have already made up in your mind that this is not the thing for you? I told myself running is not the thing for me. My husband has said that student loan debt is going to always be there, right? Getting out of that debt is not the thing for me. How many of you can relate? You've had those types of conversations with yourself. When in actuality, those conversations are nothing but excuses, excuses that allow us to procrastinate, excuses that allow us to stay in, in status quo, excuses that keep us from changing, excuses what, that quote? keep us from being the disruption that we need to be in our own lives. How many of you can agree? We are our own greatest excuse. But guess what, y'all? Excuses don't get results all right i hope you catch that excuses don't get you the result that you need in order to get to the place that you need to go see i said it earlier progress is impossible guys without doing something different so what is the something different that you're going to do in your life the something different that I, uh, I have told myself, because running is just, oh, when I start saying that I got to go out there and run, y'all, I start getting heart palpitations. I'd be like, oh, Lord, I'm already tired. I haven't even got out there and started. See, that's all in my mind. So I'm having to get into this game, guys, of tricking my mind into saying, you know what? It's not really that bad. Because in actuality, once I finally got out there and started running and I got it done, guess what, y'all? I feel so much better. No, I didn't get the six-minute mile done, but I got out there and I ran, and I ran my race, right? I ran at my pace. See, instead of me trying to go and run that athlete's run, trying to be perfect and do that six-minute mile, I just ran Lynn's mile. I'm not going to tell y'all how many minutes it was. It's okay, because that's my business. But anyway, <laughs> right? Just know it was more than six minutes. Anyway, I got out there, and I ran. And how many of you need to figure out exactly what it is for you? What is it that you need to get out there and decide, okay, I'm not going to run the race according to what they say. I am now going to make the ultimate decision and run this financial race according to what I say, right, needs to happen. That's right. Excuses don't get results. So what are the excuses that you've now told yourself, guys? And, and that goes back to our opening point. Don't focus on what you've lost. Many of us have lost things in our lives. We've lost jobs, we've lost loved ones, we've lost whatever the case may be, you lost something, right? But don't focus on what's lost, focus on what's left. What do you have left now? And what do you got? And what are you gonna do with what you've got? I know that was all broken English right there, right? But the point came across, right? That's a very profound statement for us, guys. You must stay in the game. So how do you stay in this game, especially when it comes to your finances? Oh, yeah, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Lynn Demons, America's number one financial rebound coach. Yeah, I said it, America's number one. And even I struggle with things, y'all. And, and I just told you out here, just the plainest day, running is not my forte. And I'm sure there are others who can relate. But how do you now get to the point to where you can Get yourself, get your head in the game and stay in the game. See, that's what's most important. How do we now get our head in the game, right? How do you now get to the point to where you can achieve the results according to the rules that you've now set for your life? The first and foremost, most important thing that you must have, guys, is clarity. You must get crystal clear on what it is that you want to achieve. You must get crystal clear on what it is that you want. And some of you are probably tired of me telling this story, but I hate going to McDonald's with one of my cousins because she doesn't know what she wants to order. Every time it's a problem. And it, it, she called me and she said, oh, I heard you were talking about me on Facebook. I said, I didn't tell any 
by this name. See, a hit dog will holler, okay? Oh, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> but guess what, y'all? Guess what I told her? Progress is impossible if you don't change. You got to change what you're doing when you go to McDonald's. Know what you want when you get to the counter. That's all I'm saying, all right? Anyway, I digress. Clarity is key, y'all. That's number one. You must be crystal clear on what it is that you want. And then once you get crystal clear on what it is that you want, guys, you have to make shift happen. Yeah, I said it. You must make shift happen. What does that mean? You must get into a groove, get into a purpose of these are the steps that I need to take in order to get to that end goal, right? We always say this, begin with the end in mind. What are you going to do that's going to allow you to get to that place? What are the rituals, the habits that you now to need to develop that are going to get you to that place? Maybe you need to develop a habit, right, of building a budget because you know you're not budgeting. That's why you're in that debt. That's why you're in that situation that you're currently in, right? Because you're not sitting there and being methodical in the process. And the problem is, guys, it's not as difficult as many of us make it seem. It's not that complex. It's simply you sitting down and doing the work. So the word for you today is to stop being lazy. Oops. <laughs> stop being lazy. In my brown voice, Brown would say, stop being nasty. No, stop being lazy. That's what you're doing today, right? Stop being lazy and start to do the things that you need to do. Why? Because excuses don't get results. It's impossible to change if you don't do something different. So what is it? Once you get clarity around the things that you would like to achieve, then what are the steps that you are going to take? What are the rituals, the habits, the behaviors that you will now develop that are going to get you to your end goal? Guys, as a financial rebound coach, I support people in all aspects of their finances. I help people from the basic foundational pieces of finances. If you don't know where to start, I help you there. I help those who, if you have started, but you don't know how, you know how to make your money, but you don't know how to keep your money, I help you there, as well as to grow your money. If you need help there, that means looking at different types of investment opportunities whether that's investing in the market or investing in real estate or investing to start your business or starting up a business or looking at government contracting. Guys, there's an array of ways you can make your money, keep your money and grow your money. But until you're immersed in these situations and circumstances, until you do something different, right? Until you do something different, shift won't happen. So you have to make shifts happen for you in your life. Be the disruption for your life. What are the things, what are the decisions that you are going to make? What are you going to get crystal clear on today when it comes to your life, when it comes to your finances, when it comes to your health, right? What is the shift that you are going to make happen today as you move forward? And for those of you who are ready, you say, wait a minute, Lynn, I I'm loving this conversation. I'm all in. I'm ready to go to the next, but I'm not clear exactly where to start. Go to bit.ly slash talk to Lynn. Schedule some time to get, get on my schedule so we can actually have a conversation so I can help to guide you in the right direction so that you can get crystal clear in what it is that you want. Know what you want, but then maybe you say, hey, wait a minute, I don't have a strategy. I don't know the steps to take. What skills should I develop? Get on the phone with me, schedule some time, bit.ly slash talk to Lynn, so that we can help you to get to your next guys. The challenge is that progress is impossible without doing something different. So what is that something different you're gonna do today? do something different go schedule a consultation it's a free consultation i'm not charging you anything right i'm not charging you anything bit.ly slash talk to lynn but best believe the support provided after that that does come with the cost because my time is valuable my knowledge is invaluable 
but I also want to, that is my goal, guys. My goal is to empower, to help, to provide support, to help you make your money, keep your money, and grow your money so you can do the things that you're called to do. So you don't have to sit out here and live and build somebody else's dream. Get out here and live and build your own. That's the point of the story today, guys. So just in closing, I want to share, don't focus on what you lost. Focus on what's left and work with what you got. That's what's most important. All right, guys, I'm Lynn Demis, America's number one financial rebound coach. Yeah, I said it, America's number one. Appreciate you for stopping by and listening in. Don't forget to go schedule those consultations at bit.ly slash talk to Lynn. That's bit, B-I-T dot L-Y slash talk to Lynn. And if you say, wait a minute, Lynn, I'm ready, I'm ready, guys. I'm ready to go ahead and get started. Then check out my website, demonsenterprise.com. Click on that shop now button. There are tons of resources that are available to you if you want the do-it-yourself opportunity. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us here for the, this point. The financial confession and conversation of the Fearless Morning Show. All right, Miss Co-host, passing to you. All right, guys. Um, I hope everybody's staying warm today. I'm looking at these kids still in shorts this morning. It's cold. All right. Your mama let you I'm leave. I'm not even going to speak on that. Yeah. I'm not even. It's 22 degrees outside, and, and they're in shorts. Where, where are their parents? Dropping them off. The parents are driving. They getting out their car. Oh wow. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. I just shut me up. Hey. All right. <laughs> Not my kids. So it, hey, long as you don't make my kids sick, I'm okay. And we we okay. show got the elderberry vitamin C on deck all week. All right, guys. So the fearless <laughs> thought for the day is, and I know I always give you guys something to think about, but like. This thought is for real, for real. What if the person we're talking about is you? Like, you know how I always say, check your friend circle, check your family's attitude, check your loved one's attitude. What if it's you that need to be checked? What if you are that person? Uh -huh. What if you are the person that is holding everybody back? What if you are the negative Nelly in your family? What if you are that mm -hmm. Debbie Downer? Mm -hmm. And what's Patty's name? Patty comes to my pity party. So what if that person is you? You you know, we you come to the field this morning, show her, and it's all about sharing information <coughs> and caring and helping people out. But what if we're talking about you? What if it's you, boo? Wow. Because sometimes that's the hard conversation we got to have with ourselves. We have to right. think about, because a lot of times we play victim because, you know, we like the end result of our story of telling it. So a lot of times we play victim, but when in all actuality, we are the problem and we are mm -hmm. the reason and it is us. Like we're holding our family back. We okay. are the ones that what will not allow our children to grow. We are the ones that are telling our children that their dreams are not valid. We are the ones who are holding our family back financially because we don't want to get educated because as Lynn say, I know that. What if we what if you are that person? So what are you gonna do about that today? On this hump day Wednesday, working Wednesday, as Miss Margaret says. Are you going to work on that today? What if that person is you? What if you are the person that is holding the fact that when <clears throat> the rest of the family gets together, they talk about you because all you do is complain. All you do is put people down. What if it's you? Right. We must all, Miss Kim, it is such a never ending process. Like it's never ending, period because life keeps happening and we adjust and sometimes we adjust for the bad and sometimes we adjust for the good but if we are mindful of what's mm -hmm. going on then we can correct ourselves or decide that we don't want to go that way and so we turn around mm -hmm. and go in another direction even as right as you know no none of us are far we are so far from perfect and so thank god the good lord tugs at us to say hey you're not going in the right direction but what if the person we're talking about is you? What if mm. it's you? 
What if you are Miss Negative Nelly? Complaining Patty. That's got to be a hurting feeling. Let me tell you something. It got to be a hurting feeling. I encourage you today <clears throat> on Hump Day Wednesday to do something about that. You yeah. got to be intentional about where you want to go, what you want to do, and the outcome you want to do. Remember, it all requires work. So let me tell you this, because my thought is very short today. Regardless or uh, if you are the person we talk about or you are the agent of change for your entire household, your family, your community, the world, you are inspiring your family to do whatever it is they want to do in life. They are watching you. You are influencing your family every morning that you wake up. Every morning you get up and you follow that routine, your family follows your routine, right? You right. So your family, your children, your husband, your wife, your mom and them, your cousin them, all of them, y'all want to put in there, you are influencing them every day, just like they are influencing you and you are influencing them. They are looking at you in your life and they are saying, well, if it's good enough for JoJo and if she is following this, then it must be good enough for me. So are we influencing our children and family to be lazy in mind, action, and thoughts, mentally, emotionally, and physically? Are we encouraging our family to be lazy on all fronts? Or are we just saying, well, if you play sports really good, that's all you need to focus on, and we leave the mental and emotional to waste? Or what are we influencing our family to do? Are we influencing our family to sit around and talk about people all day, every day, And but when the pot call the kettle black, you get mad because that's what you do? Are we, okay. are we influencing our family to be less than? There's only two options, all jokes aside. Either you are influencing your family to be great and live in abundance, or you are influencing your family to be less than and live in lack. Those are your mm -hmm. own two. There's no middle. There is no middle ground. I promise you, there, there is none. It's either one or other. You can't be lukewarm. Ain't that what the Bible say? You got absolutely hot or cold. So either you are influencing your family to be great and live in prosperity, or you influencing them to live in lack and have less than and why is that yeah. because that person could be you so what are you going to do about yeah. that and this mm. holiday season coming up the greatest gift you could probably give your family is the gift of doing something for yourself changing your mind mentally emotionally because the mental work has got to come first before you can see it into the physical so you, as a man think of, and there's so much more to that verse, but you know, as he think of, and most people stop right there, but it's in his heart. So what are you thinking? Uh, yeah. What are you thinking and what are you living out? So the greatest gift you could give your family this year, this holiday season going into 2019 is the commitment to yourself, the dedication to yourself to do something different so that they are then inspired to see, because they look at you and they can say, and I'll say women because I think it's majority women. To my fellas, if you're watching on replay, I think Cousin Carl was on here. Are you? They look at you and they see you come home every day and complain about your job and mm -hmm. not do anything that makes your soul happy. They see you sit there and your sheer joy is to watch TV and call your friends and talk about it. And they don't see what really makes mama happy or what makes daddy happy so they assume that there is nothing there's no other goal in life that that is life to do exactly that what are you inspiring your family to do what are you passing along to them because they are observing your behaviors your children are living out your behaviors every single day so think about that yeah. on hump day wednesday right uh, miss minister valley be the positive influence because if not, you can continue to be. And here's my thing. I'm not saying you have to change. I, I, this is a judgment-free zone. You are free to go and do however you feel. I'm just asking questions. I'm, I just want to know. If you want, if you like being negative, Nelly, be the best negative Nelly you can be. That's all. Hey. If that's what you want, I'm just saying, dear. If that's what you want to be, then, girl, you go be great at being negative okay. Nelly. 
But please understand you're passing that along to your children. And think about this. When your children see you hit hard times or hit a hard spot or you have to make a difficult decision, how are they seeing you react to that situation? Thank you, Minister Valerie. I knew you'd come through for me. Eat and drink, said he to thee, but it's in his heart. A to the man. I'm just saying. So when your children observe you handling problems, conflicts, solving problems, they are patterning their life after you, period. So are you teaching them when problems come to get angry and get upset and run away and not think about it, not talk about it? So then it becomes an attitude, a behavior, a lifestyle, and then you're passing it along to them. And that's how generational curses and generational habits get passed along for years. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, think about that today. On this working Wednesday, hump day Wednesday, are you the person we're talking about? And remember that you are influencing your entire family, whether you want to admit it or not. And that doesn't matter. You can say, Jojo, that's a lie. But if it's a lie, look at your family. If it's a lie, look at your kids, what they saying to you. If it's a lie, how do your children interact with you? If it's a lie, how do your co-workers and friends what do they bring to you if it's a lie that because the truth ain't ever gonna change <laughs> Thank you a little attitude with that i think i felt like yeah I you did just attitude. a little bit just i felt it little coming bit. on <laughs> my bad but y'all i i love that though when she came with her attitude she basically said to y'all negative nellies pity party patties and complaining constants or whoever you are, mm -hmm. get off your lazy mat. That's what she said. Get off your lazy mat. Lazy yep. in mind, action, and your thoughts. Somebody better take that to the bank. Okay? And cash it, honey. <laughs> cash that. Right? Because this works <laughs> go up in this piece. I'm okay. <laughs> you cannot call the truth a lie, boo. You cannot. Okay. The truth exactly. don't ever change. And so your family is living your truth. They are living what you have told them is okay for their life. How about mm. them apples? Wow. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right, I'm done. I ain't got nothing else to say. Lynn, anything, <laughs> anything else, Lynn, you want to add before we close today? Oh, uh, guys. Well, thank you again so much for joining us. Hey, Charlene, we saw you come in. Hey, Charlene. Uh, thank you for joining us each and every day. Don't forget to share out this video. Share, 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 because sharing is caring um, in this season. Also, guys, don't forget, if you're ready to have that conversation, you're ready to create some clarity in your life, go ahead and schedule some time so we can talk bit.ly slash talk to Lynn. That's a capital L for Lynn, L-Y-N-N. All right, yeah, that's how I spell it. I don't spell it any other way. Don't try to add an E onto it. Don't try to do it with one N. It's L-Y-N-N. -N. All right, guys, I just had to throw that out there. People have problems. I don't understand, and I know I digress, but people have problems when it comes to their name. Your name is your name for a reason, and it really means something, okay? Look up what your name means if you haven't done that, because Lynn means peaceful, Okay. Hey, to the man. All right, Kimberly. Miss Kim, oh, Kim take so a multivitamin. Multivitamin. Get a multivitamin. You don't need the one. You don't need an A, a C, or a D. You need a multi. Okay. She said, get all of yourself together. All of your ABCs. You need them all. <laughs> get a multivitamin, y'all. Guys, but the thing is, and we like Joe, jo, I think Jojo, you said this on one of the other shows. If you don't have the energy every time you think you about something, you're not inspired to get it done. Mm -hmm. That's your problem. So yep. think about the inspiration point. Get some clarity. Oh Lord, she said A to the man. She A to the man. <laughs> That's right. Oh, I tell you guys. Well, Minister Valerie so said Valerie means strong. I have no uh -huh. idea what yeah. my name means. My mother, and I, I, she not on here, so I'm telling the story. She made my name up, but don't tell her that. So I don't know. <laughs> but I know Louise is my middle name. So somebody look up Louise and see what Louise means. That's right, Charlene. 
A to Z. Kimberly got you, boo. Kimberly mailing out ah! multivitamins to folk in the community this year and saying, get yourself together. But here's the thing, and she was right. If you talk thinking about it, you may have a laziness problem. Some of us, like I said, the answer's already there. It ain't that we don't have the answer. We got a laziness problem. We don't want to do the work of the answer. So you, we make okay. purpose. So I'm just saying. Yeah, okay. we trying to get you some empowerment over here. Empower yourself to action. Sometimes you got to encourage yourself. Y'all don't get me started over here. All right. I'm just saying, honey. <laughs> but sometimes. Sometimes. You do. Go listen to that song for me today because I know I'm going to play it just as soon as we hang up this phone and I'm going to be singing loud over here in this area. So y'all in Gwinnett County, y'all about to hear that song come out of Snellville. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, y'all. Thank you so much for joining us for the Fearless Money Show. Miss Co-host, how many videos are we up to now on YouTube? Oh, look at what Louise means. Yeah, wow. she's a renowned that. warrior. Okay, God. A to okay. The remind me of Shira, the Girl. warrior princess. Yes. <laughs> Y'all know I wanted to be superwoman and bionic woman. Then, 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 you know how she turned around. Oh, don't do it. Don't do the doors. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Please make sure you share the video. Please make sure you go to Facebook. I mean, if your friends and family don't have Facebook, make sure you go over to YouTube and share the video. We, um, I would I think it's 250, 251. So is at two? I think somewhere around in there. Two, it probably 252 today. I think yeah, I wrote 251 yesterday. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and I need to load yesterday's video uh, on there. So 252, okay. including today, or maybe 253, including today. So binge watch the Phyllis Morning Show over there. Please make sure you share the video because sharing is caring. We appreciate you guys coming on with us every single morning. And remember, y'all, on this cold hump day, Wednesday, working Wednesday, you are influencing your family, whether you think you are or not. You either influencing them to cuss or you influence them to bless. One of the Oh, wow. On that note, good morning, LaShawn. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> good morning, Sean. <laughs> I'm just saying, you are influencing your family one way or another, what, either for lack or for prosperity. Which one you doing? And it may be you that we're talking about. You may be the negative Nelly, Debbie Downer, Pity Party Patty. And if you do, honey, if that's you, boo, do yourself a favor this holiday season and gift yourself a new you. We got new rules to the new you. So handle your business this year. Go out with that. <laughs> All right, guys. We hope you have a great, great Wednesday. Please stay warm out here. I'm going to stop talking because as a guy that is sick at work. I thought you were going to stop, JoJo. Listen. Listen, Linda. I, let me tell you how bad it is. I, got a, I have a big thing of Lysol wipes. And I don't touch nothing without a Lysol wipe. There's like, Louise, why are you using white Lysol to touch the printer? Because Jeremy Germany over there done touched it. That's why. And he hacking and coughing. And then he, oh, uh, and he's not covering his mouth. And now I got a sore throat. My throat, I got a cough. And if he, I'm going in there today and it's on. I told him if I got sick, we about to fight. I ain't a violent person now. I don't want to have to lay hands and bless him. But I'm just oh, saying. Oh, wow. <laughs> just... I don't want to get sick of All right, my dear, don't go to jail. Don't go to jail. Okay. As mama say, I'm keep me a piece of steel. No, I'm just joking. That's a <laughs> phony. That's not me. <laughs> All right, guys. Y'all have a she great not, day. She is not kidding, y'all. She is not kidding. <laughs> I'm not kidding. But just saying. Uh, Please have a great, great Wednesday. I appreciate you guys for joining. I'm going to stop talking because my I done talk too much. That's Jesus' way of letting me know I need to shut it up. All right, guys. <laughs> Y'all have a great day. We'll see you here bright and early tomorrow morning. Have a good one. Signing off.